up guys my name is Ivan and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make uh, Roblox renders uh, for your thumbnails so uh, some of the renders that I'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be looking a bit like okay I'm, I'm just gonna remove it so some so this is the basic render we're gonna do so this is one and this is the other one so I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make these types of renders it's totally free it's super easy you just need these two apps that is roblox studio and blender so first of all i'm just gonna make my avatar like a blocky avatar because this one uh for this tutorial i don't really want to want to edit this one so i'm just gonna be wearing the ice warrior outfit okay so now what you guys have your avatar uh what you guys need to do is you need to open up roblox studio so once you guys have opened up Roblox Studio, you would need to click on base plate. So once you click on base plate, uh, it should load up right now. Okay guys, so once base plate has been loaded up, what you need to do is you need to click on plugins and you need to have this plugin. It's called load character by already pro. pro. So if you guys uh, don't have those, you just need to click on manage plugins and you need to click on uh, this icon. So now, once you have done this, you need to, uh, uh, you, it will be on the front page. So it's called Load Character by Already Pro. And what you guys need to do is you need to click Install. So I've already installed it and that's why I have it uh, right here. So I have it right here, I've already installed it, so I don't really need this. So once you guys have installed it, you just need to click on this and you need to uh, check Spawn at Origin. And once you have done that, you just need to click on, you just need to select your, uh, the username that you want. So you just need to select the username and then you need to paste it over here. And then, uh, once you think this is the right avatar, you just need to click on spawn R15. So it should spawn right about now. Okay. So it has spawned and this is what my avatar looks like. So pretty good kind of demonish type look. Pretty dope avatar. So once you have this in your like in your in your base plate, what you need to do to move it around, like to make the arms good, you just need to click on animation editor and plugins. So once you guys have done that, it will say select a rig to animate. So you need to click on this and you need to click on the torso. And then you need to click on create. So once you've done this, you basically don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna move it over here. So now that you guys have done this, now you can just start positioning around your character. So you just need to click on the arm to position it. And then you can like uh, take it up and all that. So, and to undo it, you just need to click uh, control Z. So right now I'm going to start positioning it. So, uh, so I'm going to move my arm like this then i'm gonna move this over here and then i'm going to move it like this and if you guys want to move it like front or back you just need to click r so you can just move it like this and i'm just gonna move this pretty fast and i'm gonna be showing you guys the end result okay guys so once you have uh positioned your avatar like i think this is a pretty good pose but uh, once you guys have done it, uh, all you need to do is you need to click on home uh, and then you need to like you need to select your the you need to go to workspace and select your avatar and then you need to click anchor. So once you do that, actually I'm just gonna change the legs a bit. I'm just gonna move the leg a bit like this. Okay, wait, wait a second guys, I'm just gonna move the leg. Okay, and now I'm gonna take uh, this behind. Like that. Okay, this is gonna go behind. And then I'm going to move the lower leg. Okay, okay, wait a second guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this now. And I'm gonna move it a bit back. 
Okay guys, so once you guys think this is uh like your pose is good, like for me I think this is a pretty good pose. So now you just need to click on workspace and you need to click on your avatar. So like you need to click on Pokemon Free, like whatever your name is. And then you need to click on home and you need to click on anchor. So once you have done that, you need you need you can close this. So this is basically not needed. So now once you see you can see your avatar is basically like in position. So if you guys have done this, you're pretty much good to go. So, uh, so now what you need to do is you need to click on, uh, you need to left click it, no, you need to right click it, and you need to click on export selection, and then you need you can save it to wherever you want to save it. So I'm just gonna save it uh, pretty quick. Okay, guys. So now I have saved it. So now you can close out of that, and then you need to open Blender. So once you have opened Blender, you just need to right click on this cube. Uh, okay, no, you just need to select the cube and then you need to click delete. So now once you guys have done that, you just need to click on file, import, and wavefront.obj. So once you guys have done that, you can just, uh, you need to copy the file where you saved your, like the, like, like your character. So I'm just going to click copy full path. So this is where I saved my character. So I'm just going to click import obj. And you need to click the .obj one, not the .mtl. So once you've done that, just click import obj. And you need to bring it to like the center of your, of the workspace. So now to move around, you just need to click shift plus F. So you can move around like this. Okay, so I'm moving around like this. Okay, so that's pretty good. And now what you guys need to do is you need to click on render presets and make it HDTV 1080p. Then you need to click sample motion blur. Then open shading and click the alpha to transparent. Then you need to click this plus icon. And then you need to click textured solid so it gets the color. And then you need to click ambient occlusion. And then what you guys need to do is you need to click on this earth type thing. So once you click that, you need to click ambient occlusion, environment lighting, and indirect lighting. So that's what it looks like. And now, now uh, to like get a picture of this, you just need to go back to your photo thing, and you need to click view over here, and you need to click camera. So now you will get something like this. You need to click shift plus F. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to move around. Uh, now I'm gonna get a good view of this. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so I think I, yeah, I think this is a pretty good view. So once you guys have the perfect view, just click enter and then it should be like this. Then you need to click render. Okay guys, so if your picture has loaded up, it should look a bit like this. I think this is really good. And now once you guys have done this, you need to click on image. And then you need to click on save as image. And then you need to copy the URL where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it at this folder of mine. I'm going to click this, click enter. And I'm going to name this as test. I'm just going to name it as test, whatever you guys want to name it. Click save as image and then you need to minimize this. And you can just close Roblox Studio. I mean, you don't need it now. And now, once you guys have done this, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. So, once you search this up, like, this is what you have. So, that is how you make basic renders on Blender. And that's how you make a basic render of your Roblox character. So, this is what it looks like. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If this video helped you in at least any way, Please like, share this video and also give it a like uh, I'll, and I shall see you guys in the next one.